Now, how do these taste, Dan? Wow. The Sacaton. Sacaton Citron Mellow. Look at this. This thing here is just massive. I had to cut one open already and show you. Look at that. Look at the seeds in there, too. But this is probably one of the juiciest and biggest trifoliate hybrids out there. Um, the information that, I mean, I, the only thing I can find goes back to the sixties and, um, that there was some, that Swingle sent some stuff from the citrus station in Winter Haven over to the Sacaton, uh, um, citrus research, uh, station. And there was a seedling there. And then there's a couple variations of it. Um, and then there's a Yuma Citrange range. That's part of it. That's part of the history of this. So it's one of the old ones, but I would say probably one of the biggest and juiciest and probably mild tasting. Yeah, that, there's no, I don't taste any trifoliate in it, but for people that really like grapefruit, this is one of them right here. This is a, a beast. What a beast of a, a beast of a hybrid, trifoliate hybrid compared to the size of my hand. Look at that. <laughs> You've got this one here. Like, look at that big as my hand massive massive fruits and uh, heavy real heavy too um not as thick of skin as uh, uh swingle a little bit more softer but more juicy more seeds and i want to say we're probably going to get maybe a third of a cup closer to half a cup of juice um just in this one that i cut right here and it looked like it was the most yellow, the most ripe out of out of the few that I have. And uh, you can see it's kind of a little bit spotted. But, yeah. And you know what? I have some trifo... I have some wild Puntsires fruits. I'm going to give you a comparison. <clears throat> now, this one's soft. I have it sitting in a container over here. And uh, I'm going to use these for seeds. But just to give you a comparison, look at the size of this. Look at this. Oh, I don't want to get that dirt on the back of this near the fruit. All right, let me put that there. That's the size comparison. That's a wild Ponsiris trifolia uh, uh, fruit right there. Bitter orange, sometimes people call it. And then when you cross this thing with a grapefruit and you go through a bunch of different seedlings, you'll find one that's massive like this, or at least they did anyways, you know, a long time ago. But... Yeah, I don't even want to cut this thing open because look how it's half rotten. This is in a pot right now, uh, ready to use the seeds for rootstock. But this is actually used for rootstock as well too. These guys, but man, what a good fruit! Look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some and drink it here in a second. Let me set this nasty thing down here. <clears throat> but all right. Yeah, look at that. A citromello, one of the biggest and toughest citrus that you can get. That's one of the most cold hardy citrus that you can have. It's a 50-50 cross between trifoliate orange, the wild Ponsiris you just saw there, and a grapefruit. And uh, they're, they're cold hardy just above zero degrees. If you got a zero degrees unprotected, you might lose a, a, a big chunk of the tree. They're not as cold hardy as a citrandarin. Uh, which is the mandarin cross with the trifoliate. Um, those are those are some of the most, and actually they're not even as cold hardy as a Thomasville Citrange quad. So these are a little bit more on the sensitive side. I'd say probably three, four degrees, five, five degrees, you know, somewhere in there. But look at that. Let's check out the juice. Lots of seeds. Oh my gosh, look how juicy that is. These. Wow. We're already past a third of a cup already. Lots of seeds, but even more juice. And really easy to squeeze. Alright, so just half of it. I've got almost half a cup of juice show you 
check this out. Half a cup. All right, let's juice the other half of it. You can just hear the juice gushing out of it. Alright, so we're looking at almost right at a cup, one full cup of juice just for one fruit. That's impressive. <laughs> That's the juiciest <laughs> tough citrus you can get. The Sacaton. And the biggest. I mean, obviously it's going to have the most juice. That's the biggest. That is just shy. Just shy. Of a cup of juice. That's the seeds. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Just to give you an idea. Look at that. Three quarters of a cup. It's orange, almost like an orange juice. I gotta drink it. Ooh. Ooh, that's mild. That's sweet like an orange juice. That's amazing. If you could imagine grapefruit poured in a cup with orange juice, this is what you'd get. It's sweet and sour. It. Oh my gosh. I gotta drink some more. What a perfect drink. Mm. Oh, wow. No trifoliate flavor whatsoever. The Sacaton Citramello. Makes a dark orange grapefruity juice. That was the first time I've squeezed one. I've tasted them. But that was the first time I've squeezed one and saw how much juice and just drank the juice. That's fantastic. My mouth's puckering up a little bit right now, but man, that's good. <clears throat> Chill it, put it on ice, even making cocktails. Oh, wow. This is good. This is full of vitamin C. This is absolutely full of vitamin C. But thanks for watching, guys. The Sacaton Citramello. The, it, as far as I know, this is the biggest and juiciest uh, trifoliate hybrid out there. 50-50 cross. 50-50 cross between... I think it's a, now I know the Swingle's a Duncan. It's a Duncan uh, grapefruit cross with a trifolia. Um, I don't remember exactly what, what this cross was, uh, what type of grapefruit was crossed. It might have actually been a pomelo with the size. It would almost tell me that's a pomelo, I'd probably say. But, He takes a bag for home every time he goes. Really? Yeah. Well, here we go, Sacaton Citramello. Talk about juice. Holy smokes, look at all that juice. Look at that pretty yellow flesh. All right, there you go. <laughs> Taste the... test time. Yeah. And these, I was just reading, come true pretty well 100% of the time from seed. From seed? Yep. What you get? A little more grapefruity. A little bit more trifoliate. Okay. I think that the... Uh, Not one of your top two in there. I, you know what? Between the swingle, the swingle and this taste totally different. Oh, yeah. They're, di they're different animals. Right? Very different. Yeah. The swingle tastes more like a lemon. This tastes more like a grapefruit.